A complete blood count is considered a fundamental diagnostic tool. It provides information about person's general health. Can help detect various diseases such as anemia, infections, and in some cases, cancers. We will discuss most important measurements of complete blood count. White blood cell count. WBC white blood cells are immune system cells that function like soldiers, fighting infections. A high WBC count usually indicates an infection or inflammation, while a low WBC count can signify bone marrow problems, the effects of medications that suppress the immune system, or sometimes autoimmune diseases. Generally, if a person has an infection, the WBC count is high. However, in cases of severe infection, the WBC count can be low due to the high usage of such cells or because some viruses decrease the production of WBCs. Red blood cell count, RBC red blood cells transport oxygen throughout your body. A low RBC count indicates anemia, which can be a sign of blood loss, dietary deficiency, or bone marrow problems, but is most commonly caused by iron deficiency. A high RBC count, known as polycythemia, can be a sign of dehydration, heart disease, or a condition called polycythemia vera. Hemoglobin, this protein, which is the main component of red blood cells, also indicates anemia when low and polycythemia when high. The separate measurement of red blood cells and hemoglobin is significant because their levels help identify underlying causes. For example, if both hemoglobin and RBC counts are decreased, it suggests blood loss, chronic disease, or kidney problems, known as normocytic anemia, indicating normal-sized cells. If the RBC count is normal or decreased, but hemoglobin is disproportionately lower, it indicates microcytic anemia, often due to iron deficiency. Conversely, a decrease in erythrocytes with normal or higher hemoglobin levels suggests a deficiency in vitamin B12 or folate, known as macrocytic anemia. Hematocrit, this measurement represents the percentage of your blood volume made up of red blood cells, reflecting your hemoglobin and RBC levels. A low hematocrit indicates anemia or blood loss, while a high hematocrit suggests dehydration or polycythemia vera. Mean corpuscular volume, MCV MCV indicates whether red blood cells are large or small. A high MCV typically signifies a vitamin B12 deficiency, while a low MCV suggests iron deficiency. Platelets, these components are crucial for blood clotting. Low platelet counts can lead to easy bruising or bleeding and can be caused by bone marrow problems, autoimmune disorders, or the side effects of medications. For example, lupus or idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura are the diseases which commonly causes low platelet count. And high platelet count can be caused by infections or rheumatoid arthritis or anemia sometimes. And in rarer cases, cancers. Because cancers release substances and body and they stimulate platelet production. 7. White blood cell differential. White blood cells say break down into five types. Neutrophils, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophiles. And changes in their proportions gives us more clear picture underlying cause. For example, neurophils are elevated during bacterial infection. Because they are frontline defenders of the when bacteria invades to the body. When we say elevated neutrophils, we mean total neutrophils is strong predictor of bacterial infection. During increased percentages it still can be bacterial infection, but sometimes it can be misleading when total white blood cell count is low. Generally, if person has low neutrophil counts it makes body more susceptible to bacterial infections. Lymphocytes are responsible on viral infections and increased them means viral infection in the body. Low lymphocytes levels can increase risk of viral infections. Monocytes are later will become macrophages, which are large cells, and they engulfing pathogens and cellular debris. They also are antigen-presenting, means they help to activate other immune cells. Elevated monocytes are sign of some chronic infections like tuberculosis, 
and fungal infections. Also autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and lapus and certain type of cancers like lymphomas and leukemias. Recovery from infection in the recovery phase after a bacterial or viral infection, monocyte percentages might remain slightly elevated for a period. If eosinophils are elevated it means parasitic infections. Also, eosinophils are elevated during allergies like asthma and basophils are elevated during inflammations. They promote blood flow to injured areas. Some cases they can be elevated during allergy and some chronic leukemias.